Okay, right here is a 1977 Bucyrus Siri 480W walking drag line. The 480W was first introduced by Bucyrus Siri in 1955 as a replacement for the older 450W which had been in production since 1948. This particular unit that you are looking at right here is currently shut down out of service and up for sale. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this big machine. To help give you an idea of the sheer size of a 480W, this machine measures 26 feet 1 inch tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab, 60 feet 2 and a half inch tall from the ground to the top of the A-frame, and 49 feet 6 inches wide. The 480W was available from Bucyrus Siri with boom lengths ranging from 175 to 215 feet in length with corresponding bucket sizes ranging from 12 to 18 cubic yards. This particular unit is equipped with a 175 foot boom and a 17 cubic yard bucket. Right here you can see where the drag rope runs out through the fair lead. And from right here you can get a good view of the tub on this machine, which measures 36 feet in diameter. And if you look here, you can see the 88 10 inch diameter individual rollers which will rotate the drag line about the tub when the swing motors are engaged. Right here you can see one of the big walking shoes on the 480W, which measures 6 foot wide and 42 feet 6 inches in length. Now let's talk a little bit about the walking system on this machine. The 480W features the Martinson walking system, which consists of an eccentric cam wheel running inside an oval track in a frame pivoted to the shoes. How this works is very simple. As the walking shaft rotates slowly, the shoes follow the eccentric's oval path, which in turn pushes both shoes down onto the ground, tips the back of the drag line up, and slides this entire machine backwards, a distance that is referred to as a step. The 480W takes a 7 foot 4 inch step every rotation, moving along at a top travel speed of 0.15 miles per hour. Now let's go up on this big machine. A 
Unfortunately, both the machinery house and the operator's cab on this drag line are locked, so I will not be able to take you inside and show you around. However, the main machinery on the 480W consists of a hoist drum and shaft and a drag drum and shaft. The drag drum shaft is driven by the transmission pinion, and the drag gear in turn meshes with the hoist drum gear. The drag shaft is extended to carry the machine's jaw clutch, which thus engages the walking shaft. The hoist drum on this machine is powered by a 1,000 horsepower motor, and diesel or electric power was offered for the 480W. This particular unit is electric powered, equipped with an AC motor generator set. The diesel version of this machine was originally equipped with a Cooper Bessemer JS8T inline 8-cylinder diesel engine that produced 1,250 horsepower at 500 RPM. Some of the newer diesel-powered 480Ws utilize twin Caterpillar D398 turbocharged and after-cooled V12 diesel engines that develop 1,500 combined horsepower at 1,200 RPM. The engines on this machine receive their fuel from a 1,500 gallon diesel fuel tank mounted inside of the machine. Now, let's go up and check out the operator's cab. Again, the operator's cab on this machine is locked, so I will not be able to take you inside. However, by looking through the front windshield right here, you can get a good view of what the operator's cab on the 480W looks like. The two hand levers that you see off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat control the drum functions. One hand lever controls the hoist function, and the other hand lever controls the drag function. The two foot pedals that you see directly out in front of the operator's seat on the floor control the swing function on this machine. This is how you swing the drag line left or right. And off to the right and left sides of the hoist and drag control levers are other switches and controls to work other various functions on this machine. And from up here you can get a pretty good view of what the operator would see if he were running a 480W. If you look up top on the side of the A-frame, you can see the original metal sign that says Bucyrus Erie.
and the overall operating weight of a 480W can range anywhere from 762 and a half to 832 and a half tons depending on the year of build and configuration. This particular unit, equipped with electric power and a 175 foot boom, weighs in at 802 and a half tons. The 480W remained in production until 1979, when this model was discontinued from Bucyrus Series product line of walking drag lines. And in total, 35 units were built. The Ruston Bucyrus version of this machine, manufactured in England, was discontinued in 1978 after a total of 10 units had been built. But there she is, a 1977 Bucyrus Erie 480W.